Hey everybody, this is Tolgamer Junkie, I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So, I just want to apologize for not really uploading any videos of Life is Strange. Like, I did upload that one, that Legend of Korra book 3, I hope you all enjoyed that. And then I heard there's a book 4 coming out, so I'll have to upload that as well. If any of you want me to just upload the books where there's no commentary, let me know in, the, in this video, in the comments. So in this video, I want to talk about what would have happened if Max ended up meeting Chloe earlier when she arrived at Blackwell rather than five days before the storm happened. Now in the game, Max and Chloe really only spend five days together because we have, we have um, the storm which is on the fifth day. So Max and Chloe meet up on I believe it was October 7th, which on a Monday. And then the storm happens on October 11th, which is the Friday, the following day, or the following weekend of that week, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm already <laughs> stuffing up this video. Um, yeah, so they really only got to spend five days together, so I thought it'd be interesting to make this video to see what would have happened if they had spent more time together, how would the, how the, the relationship have been affected, and what could have been some positive and negative things that may have happened. That's what, so that's what this video is about. Now if we read Max's journal, which I do enjoy reading and I also like doing different playthroughs to see how the journal was affected. Um, if you read, um, read the very first entry I believe it is, because I'm pretty sure there's, there's over 50 pages, I don't know the exact number, but there, I know there's over 50 pages. And on the page, one of them, I assume it may be the first page or something, I haven't read it in a while. Max leaves Seattle to go to Arcadia Bay to attend Blackwell on the 25th of August. And then we read later in the entry on September 2nd that Max mentions it's a first entry from her new dorm room the night before her first day at Blackwell. So we got the, so she leaves on the 25th, so we got 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31st, 1st, 2nd. So she spent 8 days there, so far. Okay, now what if, during that time of unpacking and before she starts going to Blackwell, what we're going to do is, we're going to say in this scenario, before she starts Blackwell, she wants to see Chloe, you know, just, you know, because that's why she's here, because this version... Of Max that we're going for wanted to see Chloe like like the game one did only this time she actually went and see her because the Max from the game as you all know she kept putting it off and saying I'll go some other time but like it which is really if you if you choose to sacrifice Chloe ending to save Arcadia Bay I'm, I wonder what went through that other Max's head when she found that Chloe died she probably felt like crap you know what I mean? Because you get putting it off. Now, one of the things that's actually interesting is in the Before the Storm game, you can find messages on the phone between Chloe and Max, and they're trying to talk, but, you know, they ke Max keeps getting busy, and there's even times in the messages, you can s read the dates, they're sometimes weeks or months after the previous messages that Max has sent. You know what I mean? So... She could send a message, and two weeks or a month later, she sends another one. You know what I mean? So, I guess one factor you could say is Max, the reason Max didn't visit Chloe in the game was because she felt guilty about not staying in contact with her. And it would be awkward, and I guess she didn't want to put herself through that. But in this version of the theory we're going through, I'm going to say what happens if if Max visits Chloe, because that's a, that's really like what this video is about, how the relationship would have turned out. So I guess initially, like I assume, this is just my speculation, like because everybody writes their own fanfics about stuff, you know, so this is just my interpretation of it. I do think that Chloe at first wouldn't really want anything to do with Max at, at the moment, you know what I mean? Like she's having to see Max, but at the same time, she's pissed that Max didn't keep in contact with her. And also, I believe one of the reasons that Chloe was able to 
easily like forgive Max for all those years of abandonment was because she, was because that Max saved her life in the in the bathroom from Nathan. Because if you remember that, um, you that's literally what you do in the first minutes of a game. You have to when you get your powers, you have to save Chloe from being shot from Nathan, by Nathan. And Chloe ends up seeing the photo of the butterfly and realizes that Max was the one that hit the fire alarm. So I guess saving her life, like, I wouldn't say that Chloe fully forgave Max, like, mostly did, like, a, like an 8 out of 10. Because later in episode 3, you can, when, um, Chloe, Chloe finds out about Rachel cheating on her, they end up having those fight, that fight, and she's like, oh yeah, you abandoned me, this Rachel, my dad, everyone I care about, this abandons me. So I do think Max would have to work harder to salvage her relationship with Chloe and put it back to what it originally was. Now like in the game things would play out similar. So Chloe would show Max her 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 hideout at the junkyard. They'd go up to the lighthouse and hang out. But I feel the more because they have more time together, I do think also Max would become more braver because I've made a video about this before, um, about how they, they weigh each other out, you know what I mean? Like, Max helps Chloe to be more sensitive in that, you know, just, she, she brings back the old Chloe, she helps bring her back out in the new Chloe, and Chloe helps bring out Max's braveness, you know, her assertiveness, because as the episodes progress, you see that Max is more and more gets more and more confident and I do think that this would happen because as you know like in the game like there's Victoria and and Courtney and Taylor and they're just harassing Max so I do think that Max would have more of a backbone because of the time she spent with Chloe like um if you remember episode 4 where you can just completely wreck Victoria in that conversation um, and when you have to look for Nathan. So I do think it would be like that. She'd be standing up for herself more. And, and that's... And one of the things um, that's also interesting in the journal... Whoops, sorry about that. Just got a notification. So Max is writing in a journal. It's one of the very early entrances. And she... And she mentions about going to a thrift, thrift store to build up a new wardrobe for herself. And she mentions um, maybe cutting her hair or getting a tat or some piercings. I, I do believe that Max in this scenario um, would go through some physical changes as well. Like, for example, Chloe could be like, maybe I could dye your hair or something. And I always pictured if... Because I, I do believe this is one of the things that would happen. Um, Max would start ending up uh, acting a bit more like like Chloe. You know, the blue-headed Chloe. Our Chloe, you know, our bae. Yes. I don't care what anyone says. It's bae over bae. To the end of time. So, I do think that if Max... If, if Chloe were to dye Max's hair, it would be something between red or green. I can see Max like that. But it'd be like... Chloe's hair in Before the Storm, you know, of that little dye. And I could also see Max getting a piercing, but only one, like, maybe in her nostril. And as for the tattoo, I do believe, um, what, whatever it was, because I do, what I like about the comic is the tattoo Max has of the butterfly. I really do like that, and I do think that Max would get something like that. But... I suppose it would depend, like, if it was a game, I assume these choices would be optional. And the more Max, because Chloe kind of, like, I, I love Chloe, but she kind of guilt trips Max a little, you know what I mean? Which, which I don't blame her, because Max has a lot to make up for, for going AWOL on Chloe for five years. So I would assume there would be, point, would be times where she's like, let me dye your hair, you should get a ta tattoo, or a piercing. And maybe she'd be like, hey Max, do you want to try a joint? Because she was she was in episode 3, she was telling Max, she's like, I double dare you, kiss me now, 
she's like, you need to stop being afraid of things. So I do think at one point she she would offer Max a joint and be like, hey, you should try this, and Max can have the option to try it or not. And maybe Max gets addicted to pot or something, and you know that's that kind of negative negative there. And I wouldn't say that Max starts skipping class, but I guess from her time hanging out with Chloe, her grades, because she's only been there for a month, so in like a month really doesn't a affect you, it depends like if you go full downhill, but I don't see Max doing that. I see her work suffering a little, but I don't see it completely being like this bombed, you know what I mean? So let's just say she gets a A's in class, I assume that from the time hanging out with Chloe and that, she'd kind of not study as much, she'd still study, but not as she normally did, and those A's would go down to a B minus area. And another thing that would be interesting is, um, let's just say she's hanging out with Chloe one time, and she ends up running into someone from, from Blackwell, you know what I mean? And it could be anyone, it could be Warren, Alyssa, Brooke, Taylor, Victoria, Courtney, Nathan, like, someone like that. And then, if they saw Max with Chloe, then, you know, obviously I assume, because, you know, like, gossip's a bitch when you think about, it. like, I, I suppose not like Alyssa and Kate and that would be gossiping about anything, but if it was someone from the Vortex Club that saw Max with her, then... Because Chloe, you know, we all, Chloe knows who, I mean, Victoria knows who Chloe is, Nathan knows who Chloe is, and so, there would be, like, this just thing, would be like, oh, how do you know her, and it's like, oh, you're probably trash like her too, and, really, because one of the things I gotta say I'm disappointed with, like, I all, one of the things that they took out of Life is Strange 1 was, um, when, this is after, this is right before you meet Chloe, it's in the parking lot, Max had the option to punch Nathan, I was like, why didn't you have that, just leave it in there, except she scratched his face, which was, which was pretty good, like, he, he she still stood up for herself, defended herself, I assume if, if someone was talking shit about her and Chloe, she would defend herself, but as you all know, since the Prescott's own Arcadia Bay, then, if Max were to speak up, and then she'd get in trouble, because, you know, if you do mention about Nathan having the gun in the bathroom, you get a, you get a message from Sean Prescott, and he's like, um, I would, if you don't stop these m malicious rumors or lies about my son, I'll be forced to take legal action, and honestly, you know, I hope, I hope, I hope he's suffering in the game, Sean Prescott, because whether whether Nathan is dead, or whether he's in prison, you know what I mean? Just like, it's like, F you and your family, you know? I hope the Prescotts get taken down. Taken down like Arcadia Bay did. There's also something, um, I want to talk about this as well. It'd be interesting to see what David and Max's relationship was like. Um, if you remember in the very first episode, when David enters Chloe's room, he's like, Whose pod is this? That's if you manage to hide in the closet. Um, if you're not in the closet, Chloe will say t it's Max's pot, and Max can be like, yeah, it's mine. And if Max does take the blame, Dave David goes on to say, I don't like dr drug addicts in my house, and he's like, you're not welcome here again. It'd be interesting to see how that would play out, because let's just say that um, Max is going through these changes with Chloe, where she's getting her hair dyed, her att attitude's changing, you know, but that that's like... But I don't see that fully happening in a month, but I do see Max going through some slight changes, but not like a fully complete change. And I guess at the point, like, she'd maybe start losing respect for David because she's been around the house and she knows what he's like towards Chloe and that and how they fight. So it'd be at a point where she wouldn't really care about him, and after seeing the way because um, you get, have the choice to defend Kate from him when he's bullying her, so you can you can intervene and stop him from doing that. So I believe that if stuff like this was still happening, then the 
the tension between the two would also grow more, you know what I mean, like, more intense, and they, they dislike each other even more. And speaking of dislikes, let's talk about Jefferson. I mean, he, the reason he likes Max is because she's pure, as he puts it. So, if he sees Max getting piercings and dyeing her hair and tattoos, then he might not have an interest in her as one of his subjects. Because, as you all know, Jefferson's, um, like, if you look through some, if you look through the photos with Kate, like, Kate, in a sense, is pure as well. Like, he's looking for, he's not really interested in people like Victoria. I mean, there is a folder, but, but that's, that's a difference. I don't believe Victoria is really pure for that matter. I think it has something else to do because he mentions to Max that he's interested in capturing the essence um, between life and death or whatever it was called, you know, the, the, that in between, that gray area. So he'd obviously, he, drug, he drugs Victoria in one of the walkthroughs that you get and he would take photos of her, but it wouldn't be because she's pure it would, it would be just because he's trying to capture that essence, you know? So, anyways, like, that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any other theories you want to discuss with me, let me know. So, yeah, I've still got to get back in my groove. But this one wasn't really research. I just did this one up. I did, like, a tiny bit of research, maybe, but I was just going off theories and that, I gotta get back in the game, I gotta focus more, and when I do I'll be able to make better videos. I plan to upload one now every day tomorrow. My next one, I'll let you all know, I plan to be doing a video about the Prescotts, more specifically Sean Prescott. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below, do you think that Max would have had a gone down a rebellious road like Chloe did? in if they had met earlier what would have changed how would it have affected the story let me know this is Tolgamer Junkie signing off